Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. This is part four and final video of repairing 1953 Motorola clock radio model 62 CW. I highly suggest going back and reviewing other videos regarding this repair to see the process we took to get to this level. Already my goal is uh, to create these videos so a brand new person can use the information and be able to get into the hobby. It is really is a wonderful hobby and very rewarding uh, to bring back something that totally you know, dead back to life and sing again. All right, as you see, I solder all this together. I put also shrink in tube because here is so close, these two pen together. I didn't want to touch each other. And this one also being soldered back. So all of them is in. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put the cover in. I think the best way to do this, let me figure this out. It goes under like that. See that little opening over there? That's where the wire goes. Maybe this in first. And again, I need more hand to do this. And this goes here like that. I see these wires here. I need to bend them a little bit. That's why I put insulation, you know, those uh, shrink tube to make sure everything set correctly. All right. This thing is just been pain and you know what? Okay. For those of you watching this video, hopefully it's going to help you how to take this out <laughs> and put them back together. This is the last one. As soon as stop again, let it go. Don't force it, okay? Man, so this was much easier. Just bring it away from the chassis. So that's the easiest way. So what we want to do now we want to put it other side like this it goes over like that comes right here yeah that's that's the best way to do folks now to see then you can put those screw in then you're in the business need to line it up okay that's how it's going to line up see these are the three screw here that it goes there Ay, ay, ay. I can't believe this really gave me a hard time. To do this type of stuff, folks, it takes time. You have to take your time. You cannot rush it. See, if I put this screw here, it goes too deep like that. The trick I'm going to use, I'm going to cut a small piece of napkin for over here. See it hold now. See that? Then, of course... You know this radio 3 tube I had to replace 1286 was not working at all I mean it was totally dead the other one they were weak the other two things I don't like to work on the radio is miniature tubes a pain you know what so small and these wires I don't like it because it touched the tube that's the way it was as well see what I can do about that can I bend them somehow away from this tube I guess that's why they use this type of insulation on it see at least I got it away from the tube see that it's not touching the tube all right at least it's better than the way it was okay I just turn it on you see this uh, bulb is on the clock is working, also the radio is working. Now it's going to be ready to put back into the chassis. I think the only thing in the cabinet needs some good polish. I need to double check. Everything is working as you can see. If I put my hand over the light bulb like that, you see the clock is working as well. All right. Okay, before we put this in back in the cabinet, you remember all this it should stay here inside this square. So it fit in the cabinet. Like this one is over, that one is over. This is fine. 
So I'm going to start turning this. So you remember that's what we did before we take it apart. And okay, here's fine. You see they're all clear. And they stay in the slider side, not the dark side. And don't forget to do this, otherwise you're going to bend everything. All right. Of course, I'm holding like this is not hooked up to electricity, okay? <laughs> I use this glue to glue this thing down. As you notice, it was coming off. At least now it's protected. This cabinet is in very good condition. It just needs some cleaning, as you can tell. Dust, spider web up there. So I'm going to take this outside, clean it pretty well, then bring it back. Let me take care of that. Just the cabinet need cleaning. That's all I need. Inside where the speaker is. So these are all in good condition. Of course, this is the front of the cabinet. You see that glass inside is pretty dirty. Darn, I need to take this out and clean it. Very dirty from inside. Since it was stored for a long time. All right, let's see how can I take this apart after cleaning everything. So let me take care of it. I will be back. All right, to clean the glass, I have to take this out. These are clipped. You see those clips? I already removed a bunch of them, as you see here. So the best way to remove it, so you don't crack anything, you want to put a small screwdriver, go here underneath, it's done lifting it up just a little bit like that. Then other side, you have to take your time. Then of course I put my finger over it so it doesn't pop out and lose that clip. So that's how I take it out. There's two more to take out, then I can clean the glass. I don't know why they did this, but should be a reason for it, right? Let me take this one off. So you put your finger like this, so it doesn't pop out, just gradually. They hooked up to plastic, so you don't want to crack the plastic. You bend it this way, not the other way. See, I bend it this way, and then other side, the other way now. You see, it popped out. All right? But you have to take your time, otherwise you're going to crack this post. One more to go, then take the glass out. And then, of course, you lift it up like that. All right? It's a heavy metal. See, that's the way it is. So you take this out. Now you can get to the glass and clean. It really is not a glass. It's like a plastic type of deal. You can take that out and clean it. I hope it comes out just easy. Of course, the only thing you need to use, you have to be careful. You see how this thing is start fading? Okay, these are, it seems like being painted over the glass. So you don't want to use any chemical at all. I'm going to use a cotton swab Q-tip. Try to clean just one area to see if it's going to be cleaned with water and soap. Again, do not use any window cleaner, anything like that. You're going to damage it. It's not glass, it's plastic. And these are all being painted over it. You see that? All those marks. So let me get a Q-tip and work on that. All right, I got some Q-tip. Here is water with a couple of drops of soap in it, just a regular soap. So I'm going to try it with a Q-tip, just one area to see if it's going to damage those paint or not. Just going to go right here in the top, just a little bit. Okay, it seems it's not damaging it. So carefully, I'm going to clean it. Then you have to be very careful. Some of these things are not painted over it. They might just use different technique. If you try to clean the glass, you're going to mess everything up. Of course, I can't take this glass out. I might do that. Remove these four screws. This is going to pop out. Maybe I do that to be able to clean it better. It's going to be easier to clean than try to clean it inside the cabinet. It's pretty small screws. It seems by removing one side, it will come off like that. You see that? So one side should work. You see how dirty it is from inside? It's very, very dirty. So let me spend some time cleaning this thing. See, all is cleaned. Of course, from this side, I'm going to polish it after I installed it. And it came out pretty nice. You see how clean it is? It was so dirty. I'm so glad to pull it out. 
this is what is secure the plate they're all over there's two four six eight of them there's eight clips so let's install this back in the radio see these are all plastic you know is not chrome or anything like that they're all plastic so that's we have you have to be very careful we don't break this pan when you take them out so this goes like that all right now i can turn it around and install the rest yeah put in something like that so don't don't get it scratched up so this is set against the other side as you see this clip you see how the clips goes in now let me install this so this goes like that like this and those two screw of course will install let me take care of that all right now this is going to go inside like this this is metal so it goes says right that all right now we're going to install all those small brackets and we have eight of them as you see all of them installed except the last one of course so when you put this over that clip when you want to press it down press this two side down not the center just just the side you press it down like that so you put your finger here and you press it down like that it's hard to show you since my hand going to be away let's see if i can do this you go right here so you can see it you just put it right over it then you put your finger that and press it down see that's installed too all right they're all installed so let's put the chassis inside the cabinet let's turn this around see the rest of the dust is this side then i'm going to clean it it's looking good all right and finally finally we can take this uh cover out of the speaker you remember that's the first thing goes in and it's the last thing going to come out before you put it in the cabinet just untwist this and take it out then i'm going to put it in the cabinet of course the cabinet i'm going to polish after installing it this thing was just challenging you know almost everything on it need to be touched and worked uh, was at least uh, fortunate these were not bad you know they're working sometimes those you need to take them apart also and fix them because they have capacitor inside and uh, sometimes that they go bad and let's get this done man one of those challenging radio all right how are we gonna pick this up so it nothing get damaged maybe get this speaker like this I should go straight like that inside well, I can press it from the back of course it's pretty tight this thing slide it in then of course there's some screw underneath that I'm gonna try to put those on okay secured there are three screws and washer goes in there okay let's get it started just a little bit not going to tighten them yet until everything lined up as you see i'm holding the chassis i pull it up so i can tie this again when i stop let it go don't force it that's the last one all right this is the back of course and i really love this date you know was 1954 this was a gift very interesting i like those information on radios give it a special uh, personality i don't believe you know how much they paid for this radio in 1954 that was a lot of money folks purchase something like this all right let's install this again there's four screws goes back here these are different screws the silver one it goes hook up to the chassis for the bottom the one is pointed like this it goes to cabinet and the wood all right as soon as stop let it go 
As you remember, this has two knobs. One of them was missing. I think I have an extra one that I made. One of my radios, I made some extra knobs. Let's see if I can use it for here. All right. Okay, this is for on and off switch. This is how you turn on the radio, believe it or not, from the back, not on the side. The side is just for volume control and also for tuning station. But this is where you turn it on and off. I guess this goes for auto shutdown. Let me find one of my... I think I have some extra one. Let me go get it. All right. I had some extra knobs that I made in the past. So it exactly is the same thing. You know, it fit perfect. And if you want to know how to duplicate the knob like this, because majority of radio you buy clock radios, some of these knobs are missing. Feel free to watch this video up here, how to fabricate missing knobs and other parts. And right here, you check it out. It will walk you through step by step how to do this, what product to use, what process to use to get a great result. Anyway, this is done. Uh, let's test the radio <laughs> and hopefully everything will work out. You never know until you turn the darn thing, right? I know the clock is working. As you see, the clock is working. I just need to clean this lens from this side. All right. And also clean the cabinet. Get back with you soon. Let's get this thing done and over with. I'm going to use this product, you know, to clean all this cabinet. You see all this? It's like a scratch here. Let's see if I can clean here. Seems like they put a lacquer clear coat over it. So let's see if this product is going to clean it or not. Let's try. See, I put some over the paper towel. Now I'm going to rub it in. See, it's working. Let's bring the beauty of the wood out. All right, let me do the rest of the radio. You see how beautiful it is now? It's just absolutely gorgeous now. As you remember, these knobs, they were totally white, like a powder thing over it. I washed it with soap and water. It still is not clean. And what I'm thinking, this plastic actually creates those some type of chemical reaction i assume is going on with this plastic again this radio was built in 1953 so cleaning this with soap and water you see it still hasn't cleaned it even i used the toothbrush when going back and forth i start cleaning some of this what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use a car wax you know the try to see if this is going to remove it or not. If it doesn't, then I need to use another product. So let me start with this one first. It's crazy, you know, it's, I never saw something like this before. I use a small brush. Maybe that's going to work. I don't know. Again, this is the first time I see this happening to the product. Let me just put some here. That was too much, of course. Hopefully this will help it. If you know what this is, just go ahead and put in comments, you know, because this is my first time seeing something like this. It seems like it's coming off, but I'm not sure. Again, I don't know what this is. As you see, I polished all this and hopefully that white thing is not coming back, trying to get some of those colors out. I didn't want it to do too much polish to remove anything else, you know looking much better the way this installed this one see the shaft right there right here so this goes right here this is to tune the radio to different station all right you don't you want to leave a space you don't want to head the wood see i left some space here now the other side the volume control has a tune up the first one goes in the second one goes inside there's two knobs inside for volume control as I mentioned, on and off switch is in the back. That's the first one. Again, leave a space. You don't want to hit the wood. Then this goes inside. 
they're both for volume control. See like that. This radio is ready to be tested. Let's check it out. The thing interesting about this radio, this is a volume control. Of course, it's just the volume, as you can tell. From and from the other one, you can adjust the bass. Let me show you. See? And here you can adjust the bass. That's pretty interesting about this radio. And it sounds just incredible. Turn off all the light for you, see how beautiful it is. When it's on, let's crank the volume. Don't know what is playing in the background. Alright, as you see this radio perform just incredible. The sound is just awesome. For his age, he's doing very well this radio. Anyway, he's ready to go back to his owner. I'll be honest with you, it takes so much time to make these videos, editing, uploading, and you know, make sure there's enough information that it actually makes sense, you know, if you want to follow. At this time, I want to take the opportunity and thank my subscribers uh, with their uplifting comments. You always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine. Again, I appreciate you. Enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day. Take care. If you're interested to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when new video being uploaded. You have a great day.